This is Jason with Chicago News, and it's a good day to be a car enthusiast. We've got the all-new 2018 Ford Mustang. It's got even more power, and we're going to put it through its paces. A Mustang has to look the part on the outside. You know, it's too iconic of a car for the design to not really say Mustang. And this one is a great modern interpretation of those classic lines. Really is one of the better-looking Mustangs of all time, in my opinion. Mustangs have a long history in racing, both drag racing and road racing, and when you really drive this Mustang hard in the corners, you get the sense that they've really tried over the years to make the Mustang handle better and better. You know, a few years ago, Mustang handled all right. It had big tires. It had a lot of grip. This Mustang has a fantastic chassis. You've got great steering feel. It's light, very direct, very communicative, but you also have, at the same time, a really stable and balanced chassis. It's got the right amount of oversteer exactly when you want it. Just put your foot down and you can get that, but it's very controllable. And at the same time, you've got a car that really has got an advanced suspension system underneath it, something Mustangs of the past were sorely missing. As the saying goes, though, beauty is only skin deep, so what's under this hood is really important. They've added more horsepower for this year, up to 460 from 32 valve 5 liter V8. And let me tell you, 460 horsepower, especially with this 6 speed manual gear box gets this Mustang going in a hurry. This is a fast car. When you're in the cockpit of this Mustang, there's no mistaking what you're driving. You've got this sort of twin hump, twin hood design for the top of the dashboard that's been with the Mustang since the beginning, but you've got it surrounded by all of these extremely well-chosen materials. You've got some great leathers, aluminum trim. Everything feels really good. There's nice soft touch materials. The Mustangs of a few years ago, certainly back in the 90s, pretty cheap on the inside. It didn't matter because they were fun to drive, but now you have a car that not only is even more fun to drive, quicker, handles better, but it's got a nice interior at the same time. Of course, technology is not necessarily something you think about when you're thinking about a muscle car or a pony car, but this Ford has their newest Sync 3 infotainment system. The large screen in the center really kind of stands out as a modern touch in this Mustang, and it's one of the better infotainment systems out there. Ford, actually, it's so good, I'm thinking they probably should rename it pretty soon because the original sync system was kind of a mess. They've really dialed this in. It's a great interface, easy to use, tons of apps, and really works when you need it to do something. The handling of this Mustang is so good, our only real regret is we didn't get a chance to try it on a racetrack, so hopefully Ford will give us that opportunity. This thing really is suited for the track. You know, in a way, this new center display for the gauges, this more feels like a race dashboard, and you can kind of configure this display exactly how you want it. You know, it really kind of gives you a feel for that racing heritage that's in this Mustang. You know, you might be asking with all of the praise we've heaped on this Mustang, you know, how much is this going to cost me? The entry level price, the starting price of one of these Mustang GTs is just $35,000. And when you look at the cars that we've been testing, you know, some of the most basic mid-sized sedans cost that much as an entry level also. So getting this kind of performance car for that kind of money is an incredible bargain. And even with some options, you're barely going to tick over $40,000. It's a lot of car for the money. One of the other changes for 2018 is that they've dropped the V6 version of the Mustang. You can still get the 2.3 liter EcoBoost Turbo 310 horsepower version, but honestly, this 460 horsepower V8 is perfect for this car. I can't imagine driving this one and then the EcoBoost and then choosing the EcoBoost. Obviously, the turbo engine is tunable. There's a vibrant aftermarket for people adding power to that, but got to have that. V8 grunt if you've got a Mustang. You may have heard that Ford has announced that they're dropping all of their cars from their lineup. They're going to focus exclusively on SUVs and trucks and luckily the Mustang is one of the few cars that spared that along with a Focus hatchback. And you know what? Driving this car you really breathe a sigh of relief that Ford realizes that this is an important car. They need to keep it around because we'd hate to see this thing go. Sadly our time with this Mustang is up but the time that we did get to spend really highlights how far Ford has come with this car. Each generation and each year have been packed with improvements. You know, this year we've got added tech and 30 more horsepower. And, you know, it comes with a very affordable starting price and wrapped in this really cool retro modern wrapper. You know, all of those things add up to an icon that really is now also a world-class performer. And it definitely makes it one of our favorite cars that you can buy.